you high. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. So, I didn't really plan on doing a video because, um, I don't know, like, tonight I'm fucking tired. I came from the gym, I'm like sore as fuck, you know what I mean? But, and plus, I mean, I had other videos planned, I just didn't have the time, and I was doing, like, family stuff, so it is what it is. But now, I guess, why not? Because apparently it's a big thing going on right now, and I decided why not do it. And I also want to give a shout-out to Bonafide Heat, because I saw his video, and it's like, what the fuck happened, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, so definitely thank you to Bonafide Heat for this. I know he's a big Eddie Guerrero fan. God bless him. Shout out to, to him. Subscribe. He's featured on my channel, which I believe in shit like that. So, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. Um, and I hope all y'all drinking your cold so magnificent and shit like that. God bless y'all. And, yeah, cheers. Make sure you fuck big, big black cash me this go, oh shit, oh shit. Especially if, you know, if they like a little bit of Latina heat and shit like that, hey. It's good stuff. You know what I mean? I bet bitches gonna love some Latino heat. You know what I mean? That They love that. So, let's talk about Eddie Guerrero. I did take some notes about this issue. So, basically, what's going on is that on Twitter, there's this guy, probably a fucking smarty fan, went on to say that Eddie Guerrero is a B-plus player, and he's, over, and he's probably overrated, and he's basically saying that he's overrated because he died. This is, this is, I actually been wanting to make a video like this for a while, because if you guys remembered last year, for those who are, were subscribed to me, I did make a video about Owen Hart saying that he, like, was Owen Hart overrated because he died, and in my honest opinion, I would say yes, and I don't give a fuck if really people are triggered by this, and unfortunately, you have to, like, understand that, unfortunately, when people die, a lot of people like to overrate them or pretend to care or say, like, they, uh, let's be honest here. Unfortunately, when people die, they get more love. Now, that's the sad thing about life. A lot of people get more love because they die. And I think that's what happened with Owen Hart. Owen Hart. People say, like, oh, he's the best heart of the of the Hart family, which, in my opinion, I think Brett is. You know, and, and people just say, like, I don't know, even though he was, like, didn't do much. He was, like, a cornball or whatever. I mean, I'm not saying Owen Hart was not a good wrestler or fucking whatever, but it is what it is. People, when Dusty Rhodes died, people say he's like my top five favorite of all time or whatever. Fuck, which he was probably not even your top five, most likely, for all these people saying that shit. Uh, guys like Harley Race or Bruno San Martino, you know what I mean? Guys who unfortunately passed away, they go, go on to say they're their favorite of all time, become fans and shit like that. That's the reality, unfortunately, how the world is. You know what I mean? They'll get more love and shit like that. Well, I do think, in a certain stance, I don't think, first of all, do I think that when Eddie Guerrero died, did he get more fans? Did people start to pretend or saying that he's the greatest of time? Part of it could be true, but it does not, but I know people might get offended for this, but the reality is that's unfortunately how people are. They're going to start pretending to care about a guy when they die and shit like that. That's just how it is, unfortunately. But, here's the thing though, in my honest opinion, with Eddie Guerrero, he was already good before he died. So Eddie Guerrero, and first of all, the fact that that guy, whoever left that tweet, says he's a B-plus player is fucking bullshit. To make it seem like Eddie Guerrero is in the same league as fucking Dan Bryan. But yet fucking Dan Bryan would dream of being in the same league as that motherfucker. So fuck Dan Bryan. And I hate that this whole... Unfortunately, you know, people could be tend to say that fucking Eddie, Dan Bryan's a scene lead as Eddie Guerrero. I remember I got an argument from some guy. You know, fuck, I'll mention it. I don't hate him. It's Will, Will's World Entertainment. Basically, when Dan Bryan came back and shit like that, fucking, he went on to say, you know, Dan Bryan, you don't know, man. Dan Bryan's good and shit, man. How, yo, just look at his reaction on Raw or whatever the fuck. And, like, it's just like... But what's good about Dan Bryan besides the whole stupid retarded yes chant? Full of these fucking weirdos. Let's be honest here. They're fucking Albert Dean Washington. Bunch of fucking weirdos, I tell ya. Okay? Who gives a fuck that there was like that one night that fucking yes people. Yes. 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 They're all a bunch of weirdos, I tell ya. Okay? Bunch of fucking smarty fans. And then for God's sakes. Literally, Daniel Bryan is not, it's not. There's nothing fucking really great about Daniel Bryan. How is he as entertaining as fucking Eddie Guerrero? I mean, like, really, seriously. 
Eddie Guerrero is literally far above than fucking Danny Bryan to fucking be called a B plus player. It's fucking bullshit. Because for God's sake, people actually love fucking Eddie Guerrero. Don't give me this bullshit to say fucking he's a B plus player. How the fuck is he a B plus player? If he becomes a 14 years small, okay, well, guess what? He had everything fucking, despite being small, the guy was literally fucking good. He is like, he could fucking withstand. He could be in the same league as all these fucking guys that he was wrestling at the same time. Like, fucking goddamn Edge. Like, fucking Rey Mysterio. Like, fucking goddamn Brock Lesnar. Shit, like, Kurt Angle. Shit like that. Randy Orton, Batista. He could be in the same locker room as these motherfuckers. And he deserved to. To say that fucking the guy is a B-plus player. I need the people to fucking pretend to care that... Say that, oh, Daniel Bryan, honestly, you don't know why, because they're trying to make it seem that fucking Dan Bryan could be, like, you're good or whatever, and yet he's not. I know it's fucking storyline shit, but in reality, that's, like, but these marks, they actually do give so much fuck about wrestling. It's still real to them, damn it. They're gonna fucking make it seem that, you know, he could be the same league as this guy and shit like that, which is bullshit, because fuck Daniel Bryan. The guy fucking killed fucking wrestling with this shit. Obviously, yeah, it didn't help with WWE fucking... You know, gave him the time I fucking ran with, but they had to listen to the sparks and shit. But come on, the guy's not even that entertaining. Fuck. As a compare to guys like Eddie Guerrero, who was. So, this is not just fucking... Let's fucking talk about Eddie Guerrero, because Eddie Guerrero is far from a B-plus player. Sure, the guy did not have the certain look. He wasn't the tallest guy. He was not the tall... He didn't have the tall look. But my God, the guy made up for it by... With his size, he made it for actually looking like a wrestler and acting like a wrestler. The guy had a character. He had a fucking character. The guy lied, cheat, and steal. Latino heat. It was perfect that he used his fucking race, his fucking ethnicity as a fucking character. It was perfect. But he was actually being funny. He was funny. He was funny. No matter if he was a face or heel, he's funny. And also, it matches fucking... No matter... You know, also, this is a good point. You know, unfortunately, when it comes to gimmicks now or fucking character, apparently with wrestlers, they gotta change their entire gimmick with, well, one there be a heel and then a face. The beauty of Igor, he didn't need to change his fucking character. It's just like fucking Stone Cold. Okay, he'll be a bad guy, sure. But it doesn't mean he'll change his le legit character. It just, yeah, he'll be booed and fucking do bad shit. But he'll be the same kind of character. The beauty with Igor, same thing. Even though he was, whenever he'll be a heel or face, he'll do the same shit. He'll do the lie, cheat, and steal being Latino heat. That's what fucking a great character is. The guy was fucking great. Had a fucking character. He had charisma. The guy can talk. He had a good. He could cut good promos. And you know what's the best part of it all too? He made. A, he also fucking was a great wrestler. The guy actually had great fucking matches, memorable matches, memorable moments. The fact that he was also a great wrestler was a great add-on too. So it was perfect. The guy, he, Eddie Guerrero, when you talk about the greatest wrestler, despite having a tall, like, being a tall person, is probably one, is probably the greatest re small wrestler of all time. There's no doubt about it. Eddie Guerrero is the greatest fucking small wrestler of all time. I'm not saying, like, he's, like, a midget. I mean, in terms of, sadly, yeah, guys like Hulk Hogan and shit, The Undertaker and whatever the fuck. You know, in terms of tall wrestlers or Stone Cold or Rock and shit. Yeah, he wasn't as tall as them. But for God's sakes, in terms of what you're talking about in a certain weight limit, when he's not, they didn't have the ideal shape and, and fucking size, he is definitely the greatest fucking small wrestler in history. I would go on to say that. In terms of, you know, all time, there's no wonder why I would see why people, like, it's understandable. It's understandable why people would say he's the greatest of all time, which is fine. You know, in my honest opinion, I wouldn't say, like, he's, like, legit, like, maybe top five. He may even be, may perhaps, top 15, top 10. Honestly, I gotta think of an idea, but, like, there's no doubt, like, if you were to say if Eddie Guerrero is your top 10, I wouldn't even argue with that, because it's understandable. Because for guys who didn't love Eddie Guerrero, you know, or fucking who didn't, like, fucking, you know, boom, when he was a heel, he was good. And he actually was entertaining. That's the beauty of Eddie Guerrero. He was entertaining. Something that Dan Bryan is not, for fuck's sakes, okay? Let's fucking talk about Eddie Guerrero for, like, so we already talking about this guy, so. Yeah, for, seriously, fucking, look, look, for example, like, 
promo rise. His promo when he fucking against Brock Lesnar. The fucking promo before fucking No Way Out. Talking about he's an addict. He mentioned how yeah he was a fucking addict. No doubt about it. Okay, he was an addict. But then he fucking say he's he was his addict. His addiction is now wrestling. He's so fucking cool and great with standing against Brock Lesnar and shit like that. It was fucking badass. And you know the beauty like sure. You know he was like the most believable guy, but you know him. The idea of him winning was cool and also believable because he had help by Goldberg. It was believable that he got helped, not that all oh, he overcame the odds and slayed the beast like fucking Seth Rollins or whoever the fuck would beat him. You know what I mean nowadays? It actually looks. It actually is a believable idea how he beat Brock Lesnar and shit like that. Okay. Let's talk about the moments that Eddie Guerrero had. First of all, this is also an honoring Eddie Guerrero thing. So this is why Eddie Guerrero rules also, you can say. Uh, moments, moments like him winning the WWE title. Arguably one of the greatest moments in history. Definitely a fucking tear shed moment, you could say. Fucking him winning the fucking WWE title. You know what I mean? Just... Fuck. Frog splashing from a steel cage. From a ladder, just big moments he was able to do. Fucking a lion cheating and stealing in fucking matches, for God's sakes. Um, his matches with RVD in the ladder match, parking lot brawl with Cena, matches with Edge in 02. Like, just when you think of the SummerSlam match, the fucking notice qualification match they had, fucking a, uh, versus Angle in multiple fucking matches, other ladder matches. Him versus JBL, for God's sake. They're a few, man. And, you know, lap matches with Lesnar. And even fucking heck, the few with Mysterio was fucking cool, man. Fuck. Like, it was the la the Custy of Dominic, the fucking the WrestleMania match. Fucking badass. Okay? It's fucking cool. It was great. It was awesome. Him with, with China. Fucking, you know how hard you had to make fucking China entertaining or enjoy a China segment? Besides thinking, my God, what a train. Uh, apparently, you know, uh, fucking, yeah, she's like the nicest person. But, you know, besides her looks, she probably is a sweet down-to-earth person, which is cool. So, you know how hard it is besides DX to make fucking China entertaining? Literally, her and Eddie was the most, one of the most funniest things I've seen. Her saying, Mamacita, it just... Fucking Eddie and fucking China is fucking entertaining. I loved it. It was fucking hilarious. You know what I mean? And how did, like, a lot of you will wonder why the fuck would Eddie fucking be attractive? But, like, it, it worked. He managed to make it work because he's fucking entertaining. Um. Fuck. Uh. You know, fucking. Yeah, feuds with fucking Edge, Lesnar, Angle. Hit, even Chavo, like, you know, their fucking nephew and fucking, you know, you know, le nephew and Uncle Robbery, which was cool, you know, with Ch Chavo Sr., Rey Mysterio, I damn dick, I love you, I'm your father, you love, love your fan, you know, <laughs> fucking A, hey, that was fucking amazing, fuck, it's fucking, people look at, like, how could they do that, who gave the fuck, it was entertaining, okay, it was great. Heck, with Cena, which led to that parking lot brawl, which was cool, and fucking art of definitely JBL, big rivalry, and his last few with Batiste was fucking cool, too. Okay? So, the guy's fucking awesome. The guy can actually withstand, and fucking, it's cool when he's actually fucking with people, you know? He's actually, like, Eddie's a guy who, like, all I have to really say is, Eddie's a guy that, who actually passed away, but that was actually already good. You know what I mean? People actually fucking were idolizing him. You could say, yes, he's a fucking great representation of the Latino community. People loved him. People idolized him. He was also a great inspiration, you could say, for small wrestlers. Which, sure, that could lead to, unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, a lot of small wrestlers in WWE. Like, if he could do it, so can I. I get it. But, like, at least he was good. You know? He actually deserved to be part of this business, for fuck's sakes, okay? Um... I wouldn't say, of course, he wouldn't, it's not, like, better than Austin, you know? And I think, like, if people were to really say that, it's kind of over, like, that's kind of, like, in a way, overrating. Like, why would you say he's better than Austin? But I would still kind of understand, like, sure, if you, I guess, presents, like, okay, I love because he was inspirational or he was fucking really entertaining, then okay, we can, we can agree with that. We can agree to agree because fucking all we have to say is fucking, in the end of the day, Eddie Guerrero is 
arguably one of the greatest fucking entertaining wrestlers despite his fucking size. Definitely the greatest small wrestler in history. And he deserves to fucking not, like, be talked about and remembered forever. And there's no way the guy is fucking overrated. And to say he's a B-plus player is fucking retarded. And is making it seem like he's in the same level as Daniel Bryan. And for all you people that fucking say that, oh, Daniel Bryan is the same league as fucking Eddie Howe. I want to know. Is it because he fucking made a vet to WrestleMania and shit like that? Fuck off. Okay, the guy didn't do fuck all. The guy can't even wrestle. The guy, at least with Eddie Guerrero, he can actually lift people. He can actually do a power slam. That fucking goddamn Daniel Bryan. He actually does wrestling moves, which is why he is actually he's a good wrestler. He's better than fucking Daniel Bryan. Okay, we'll forever be better than Daniel Bryan. All these fucking indie midgets, fucking tars. Okay, he's better than all these fucking vanilla midgets for fuck's sake. And also a big thing too, he was funny. Okay, he was funny. You know. Like, I would tell you one of my favorite moments with Eddie also. Him fucking, like, I think he attacked Undertaker. Or, and it fucking, he's like, uh, and like when fucking Undertaker didn't even, like, he didn't felt that, you know, he didn't sell, it was funny. It was like, it was, like, ah, it was him, it was like, ah, see, how could that stupid guy, you know? It was so hilarious, you know, just him, like, pretending like, you know, he's cool with Taker and I think Edge and Rikishi. It was fucking hilarious. That's one of my favorite fucking moments with Eddie, honestly. Eddie Guerrero rules. And to say that he's overrated because of, I I mean, I know I, I fucking said what I said. But honestly, compared to anybody who really died, Eddie Guerrero was the greatest. It's sad that he died. You know what I mean? Did it mean, like, sure, did it lead to maybe people, like, overrating him? Sure. Because maybe people started to like him because he died where fuck. But in reality, if you really think about it, the guy was already entertained, did a lot of cool shit. And he's arguably the greatest fucking wrestler of all time. Well, one of the greatest. Well, he's the greatest in terms of small, being a small guy. But definitely, arguably, one of the greatest of all time. One of the greatest wrestlers. And you know what? If you were to put on your top ten, I would understand why. You know what I mean? So that's a video about Eddie Guerrero. Just basically all that, that kind of bullshit that fucking I saw. I can't believe that fucking is a thing that people are saying he's like making it seem like he's just the same league as Daniel Bryan or something. And you know, this is an excuse for probably Bryan fans to pretend that, oh, he's better than fucking Eddie. You know what I mean? And watch, obviously fucking Sparks could have fucking gone and say like, you know, he's already that he's better than fucking Eddie. Watch, also, you're going to probably see that more often now. Since he's probably going to gay EW or fuck. But yeah, overall. Uh... Fuck, the, fuck Daniel Bryan. Fuck all these indie fucking midgets. Fuck these vanilla midgets. Fuck them all. There's only one true guy you, was, you can say the greatest midget of them all. And you know what? He's better than all of them. And he's the best, one of the best of all time. And that is Eddie Guerrero. Fuck the haters. Eddie Guerrero rules. And yeah, Latino he motherfuckers. You mean, he makes fucking, if you're a Latino, it's, he made it be Latino cool. And you know how Latinos are. Fucking stupid fucking motherfuckers, alright? But hey, he made it, managed to make it look cool. There's only, he's probably arguably the greatest Latino of them all. Alright, people? Drink your cold, some Agnesli I Locos, alright? Bato. Till next time, peace out. Bye, I motherfuckers, alright? Fuck y'all.